guys, what's up? It's Doug. Welcome to another edition of Hall & Wax. Today I have Oak and Amber Incense. This is another one of the new Yankee candles, which are new for 2019. This is not part of the Farmer's Market collection. This is actually part of the regular line you can see here. It doesn't have that Farmer's Market label. Looks awesome though. Uh, you know, I have said it before and I'm going to keep saying it. These keyhole labels, as they get designed for the keyhole label, you know, versus grabbing one of the big labels that they used to have and kind of just shrinking it, they look really good. So many of these do. This is a very striking candle. Love those leaves there on the ground. You can just imagine that, you know, the crushed leaves on the forest floor. And then with a the gray wax coupled with that, uh, it looks very autumnal. So Oak and Amber Incense, this was a big surprise candle for me. I didn't even know about it. I had, you know, I looked at the, uh, the farmer's market collection online that had been online and sort of leaked a long time ago. I either didn't see it or it hadn't been released. I'm not sure, but this one, I had no clue about this candle till the day I went in the store with my, um, when I did my melt cup preview, that was around Memorial weekend. And I was struck by this scent. It was really, really interesting. I knew I had to have the candle. So, um, you know, with that said, let's get into the actual review of this brand new scent for 2019. So this is gonna be a fun one to talk about because it is a very complex scent. I love this. This could have been a Halloween scent, I think. Uh, there's some spooky, spooky things going on here, but it's not super spooky. It's a very, very masculine candle and it sort of rides the line between cologne and like a dark woodsy type of thing. I think it's more in the woody type thing versus, uh, versus an actual cologne, but I know that some friends, they get some more, you know, like masculine type cologne out of it. And I get that. But again, to me, oh man, this is, I, I love this scent. Absolutely love this scent. This is another winner as far as the scents go. So um, I don't really think it's a cologne. I think it's more woody. Um, what this reminds me of, I get like some cr crushed leaves, um, like a moss, a, a little bit of the incense also. And I should say this is not an incense heavy candle. When that name is on it, it might make you think it's something like a, you know, something crazy like a witch's brew. It's, it's really not that. This might not be everyone's cup of tea, but still don't think it's going to be just, you know, it's not going to smell like an old record store. Put it that way with the incense burning. It is not like that at all. There's just a little bit of it in there. Um, again, it's very mossy, very woody, almost like, um, you know, that oak type scent, right? Like a tree bark. There's also leaves in here, um, sort of like that crushed leaf vibe. It's very outdoorsy. There's also some musk here, and I think that's what sort of makes the cologne, you know, uh, comparisons come out. Again, though, it's more woody and outdoorsy than it is a cologne to me. But again, very, very masculine. Uh, I have some responses later, I should say also, that I will read to this from uh, the Candle Enthusiast Facebook group. I posted that again, that I was going to do a review of this, as I'm going to keep doing for my candle reviews. And a lot of you kind of said the same thing too. So we will get to that at the end of this review, actually. But um, yeah, Oak and Amber Incense, I love this scent. Again, had this been a Halloween scent, I don't think it'd be out of place. It's not super spooky, but it's got enough, well, anything when you talk in deep woods, right? I think that could work for Halloween. Um, but I love this scent. I think it's an amazing scent. Yankee really does these complex ones well. And again, it straddles the line between cologne uh, and outdoorsy woodsy, but I think it's heavier on the, the wood note uh, or that, you know, the outdoors type note. Um, a little bit of incense, some dark woods, like forest floor, for lack of a better description, and moss, like you'd have moss on the logs. It's really nice, not for everybody, but I absolutely love this scent. I think it's another winter scent. Uh, winter, not winter. Uh, another winter scent from the uh, 29 Yankee Fall Collection. So strength. This is going to be interesting to talk about the strength of this candle because, I mean, you can see here how far it was burned down, right? And Yankees take forever to burn, especially these single wick ones. So it was, I say all over the place. It wasn't really all over the place for a long time, but there were a couple weird stretches of it. So this thing started out as a nine. I mean, like, you know, when they, they come up here to this top pour, the whole, well, Yankee does two pours, I believe, generally in their jars. They do a main pour and then they do an extra topper pour. That topper pour was ultra strong, like nine. As it got a little bit lower, um, it was probably, I mean, still a, an eight, a good eight. It was very, very strong. A masculine scent like this is powerful, just in general, right? It's not like um, a light apple scent. It's by nature, it's a heavy scent. So yes, it was very powerful. Again, about a nine to an eight. 
When we got into this zone here, it like disappeared though. It was very weird. It just sort of disappeared. I don't know if it, there was no pockets of oil, what the deal was. It disappeared. Then from on down here to actually where it's been now, it's probably about a seven. So I don't know, six and a half, seven, something like that. So I don't know what you would call it, right? Because these things burn for like, you know, over a hundred hours, easy over a hundred hours. I had like six or seven days on this where I just, I burned the crap out of this. It just, um, I don't know my actual time on this, but it has a lot of time. So the majority of the time, it was very strong to strong. Uh, but there were a couple times, mainly this main stretch here where it just sort of disappeared. So that's kind of an odd thing, but I guess with, when, you know, when you burn Yankees, especially when you burn long time, uh, when you burn Yankees for a long time through a full jar, and especially when you're burning in a big area like I am, they can kind of go up and down. Now, generally, there's not that big of a fluctuation um, to where it goes from ultra strong to non-existent, but it had a little bit of a period for that. Still, I would say, you know, all things considered, I would average it out to a seven and a half. It's been adequate. It's well, actually it's been more than adequate for the most part. It's been good. Uh, and in a small area, it will like knock your head off. So just be aware of that. If you're gonna burn in a small area, small apartment, this is a very strong scent for that. Uh, you know, my wackiness aside <laughs> with the uh, that little range there where it went to nothing, it's been strong, it's been good. So I'd call it a 7.5 would be a, probably a good average uh, of the scent. That's that's good. Again, another good Yankee success story for me. That's that's very, very promising with how bad the Yankees had been. And, you know, Cider House worked great for me. This was even stronger for the most part. At least Cider House, though, I guess the one difference, Cider House was consistent. This had that weird part in it where it just kind of went away. But yes, yeah, seven and a half is what I would call this for the, uh, you know, the, the overall uh, for strength of, uh, you know, intensity, throw, whatever you want to call it. Burn on this candle, fantastic. I mean, and you can see here, look at that. Really, really clean burner. No sitting, no anything, haven't done anything to this jar. It's, um, it's burned fantastic, again. I burn a lot of this in a hurricane. I've got a really cool autumn uh, style uh, hurricane with an Aluma lid. Um, I burned it out of it too, and it's been fine either way. Of course, it just pools out so much quicker once you do have it in a hurricane, and this thing starts really kicking out the fragrance when you get a deep pool in it. You can see here um, that pool. That, but that's about as deep as I've had it for the most part as it goes down. It stays about that deep. It can be tougher to get a really deep pool in these, but again, I don't really care. Um, because that just wants to burn the oil off like all at once then you have you know certain parts that don't scent it very well um, now mine had that but my pool hasn't been that deep so again it was just kind of weird with mine but yeah anyways uh burn on this was very very good so final thoughts would i recommend this would i buy it again yes i would now i'm not putting it on my hall of fame playlist because of that inconsistency had it not been there uh this this would be on there I want to reserve that though for the really like the creme de la creme that was just kind of goofy here. I know that this scent is actually a lot of people's favorites of the collection though. Fantastic scent. Loved it. Again, it's just a notch below my Hall of Fame playlist just because of the uh, inconsistency with the throw in it. But again, for the most part, it was great. Uh, you know, another, another good Yankee <laughs> for this collection. And again, I've been burning a couple more and I've been pretty happy with them too. So you know, I'll after I burn a couple more and do some reviews, we'll talk about it. But it sure seems like something has changed. Uh, having enough experience now and having a lot of these candles on hand and been burning them, it seems like something has changed for the better. So, uh, yeah, so you know what? Um, that's my take on Oak and Amber Incense. I think it's a great candle. But let's go to what you guys said. Again, these are comments that from um, they're from Shane, the candle enthusiast, his Facebook group. I'm a part of that. Love the group. I will put a link to it in the description below. Before I do these reviews of these new candles like this, and it's gonna be Bath and Body Works too, but um, I just, I'm doing a lot of Yankees. Uh, I'm going to be posting threads in there and ask you guys what you think of them. So I do that a couple days before the review, which is what I did for this. So let's see what you guys said about this. All right, I have my phone here. So let's go look in the group here. So Michelle says, I have the melt cup. I think it smells woodsy at first. Then it seems to go in layers of woodsy, tiny florals, maybe even smoky too. Yeah. Um, you know, I didn't really talk about the smokiness here. I don't think there's a ton of smokiness, but I do get little hints of it, like little wafts every once in a while. Again, it's that whole outdoorsy vibe. Really like that. Um, Alexandra says, my favorite of all the Fall 19 launches. A nice blend of woods and smokiness, but I love the sweetness towards the end. Another good take on it. See, Megan says, I haven't burned my candle yet, but I have used the melt cup, and it's a great woodsy, smoky, cozy, masculine blend without having too many cologne notes. It shares a lot of notes with the old fireside, but it's more modern and well-rounded iteration. 
If mine throws, its definition is going to be one of my new moody favorites. And that's, she actually likes to burn uh, the moody candles when she's painting or sculpting. Very good, very good. That's a great response. Again, a couple folks here talking about the smokiness of it. It's definitely got a little bit of the smoky woods. I don't pick up a ton of that on burning. It's definitely there though. And that's, I, I totally agree with that. Um, let's see here. Ryan says, absolutely amazing. It does remind me of incense during mass, but honestly, it's, it's my favorite of the collection. I can picture walking through the woods with crunchy leaves on the ground while smelling wood burning in someone's fireplace. Throw for me in the jar was around six and a half to seven. Burn was fine. Uh, Ryan also says, I plan to try the two wick because from what I've heard, they've been burning great and have been, uh, they've had an amazing throw. My cider house was a beast. One wick filled the whole house. One two wick filled the whole house of cider house. Yeah. I only have one of these candles, not this one, but I have my golden chestnut. I have that in a two wick. So I'm interested to see how that goes. And yeah, I totally get with the woodiness there. Um, let's see, Rachel, who's uh, one of the admins of the group. Actually, Rachel started the group. Uh, I'm just smelling this on cold, but this is what I would call a boyfriend candle. It's not just a cologne type scent, but it smells manly to me. And if they bottled it, I'd buy it. LOL. <laughs> Sybil says, I think this smells like a haunted house. I love it. And Rebecca, what up, Rebecca? Uh, she says, oh, that's fun. So I guess Rebecca, I don't know if she's tried this one yet. Uh, and lastly, Lauren says, I picked this one up at the village on Saturday and I'm really digging the nutty warmth I get. So yeah, guys, hey, thank you very much for the sponsors again. Uh, the next candle review I'm doing here and really as many as I can uh, you know, do as I think to do it, I'm gonna put these threads up because I really like what it adds to the group. Yeah, a lot of people talking about the smokiness of it. Again, I'm burning. I don't think it's super smoky. It's definitely there though. I get more of the wood, moss, um, that kind of vibe versus the smokiness, but there is a little bit of smokiness there too, so. Yeah, guys, that, you know, that is my take of oak and amber incense. It's just, it's a very complex scent. There's just a lot going on here and I love it. Again, it's to me, it's like a forest floor. The, those leaves, um, that moss, the wood, and again, hint of smokiness and actually a little bit of a hint of like regular florals too, some kind of florals. It's just a, it's a remarkable scent. Absolutely love this. That is oak and amber incense. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you soon with more candle reviews.